What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and in today's video we have another special edition. This time it's Raging Battle, and this is one of the coolest special editions you can open. And I'm about to explain why there are so many different things that make this special edition awesome. So before I do that, the giveaway for this video is a pretty good one. D2 Shield, Goblin Elite Attack Force, and Exiled Force. This is a, an original Legacy of Darkness Super Rare. So these three cards will be given to one of you guys. All you got to do in the comments is let me know your favorite pull from this video. Why is Raging Battle Special Edition so epic? As I'm explaining it, I'm going to start opening it. This is an epic special edition for multiple reasons. One, you get 30 packs. I mean, that's the normal. It's a special edition. You always get that. So that's just normal. That's cool. And you get a promo in every, in every mini box, which is 10 of them. So this, that's normal special editions, but one of the promos in this set is a Lore of Darkness, which is a very, not pri not necessarily pricey, but it's a very good value. It has about, I think it's about five, six dollars. So you can pull one of those every time, um, potentially, which is awesome. So you can get back money right there before you even open the packs. So that is pretty awesome. Secondly, in these, you have the potential of the packs being first edition. So they're not always first edition, but they can be first edition. And right off the bat, check that out. First edition right there, unlimited right there. So if you guys see, you can pull first edition packs, which is obviously amazing. So you can get first edition, you get a lore of darkness potentially. And then finally, not only those two things, which already make this a really awesome box, there was an error where a card called Vice Dragon was accidentally released in these special editions. And I believe they would be in the promo slot with like a Lore of Darkness or something like that. Instead, it would be a Vice Dragon. So what Vice Dragon is, is Vice Dragon was intended to be released as a promo in a, I believe, a Yusei, some sort of Yusei product. It was like a Yusei, like, like dual disc or something like that. And they were going to give you that card as a promo. But they accidentally released it into this product. So instead of releasing it as the promo for the dual disc, they just didn't release it. So they only released a very small amount in these special editions on accident. So if you pull one of those, it's like a four or five hundred dollar raw card. So even PSA 10, it's way more. So the chase of pulling one of those is another epic part, and it's only in the Raging Battle special edition. So you can pull Vice Dragon potentially, insane. First edition packs, obviously we have some already. And then you have a Lore of Darkness as a promo, and not to mention 30 booster packs. So just an absolutely awesome, awesome thing. So now that I've talked that away and told you guys, I'm going to open these up. We're going to speed this up. Then we're going to reveal the promos to see if we got a Lore of Darkness, Vice Dragon, or whatever the other one is. I can't remember what the other one is, but it's not very good. So here we go. Speeding it up now. All right, guys, here we go. We got them all in packages. That took forever. But an epic thing is a lot of these are first edition. I think almost half, actually, I think more than half or half are first edition. So we're just going to go through them one pile at a time and we're going to do one promo at a time. So a lore of darkness, obviously vice dragon would be crazy. Probably not going to happen, but a lore of darkness is what we want. And we got dark creator. That is the other one. Check out that defect, like misprint kind of thing. Not really a crazy misprint that's really worth anything, but a misprint. There, we got a little dot on our dark creator so there's our first promo it's not what we want really we do have some first edition packs though three first edition raging battle i'm actually going to set one of these aside for the 10k opening if you guys don't know what i'm talking about at 10,000 subscribers i'm opening every pack in english Yu-Gi-Oh in first edition if possible if not we're going to do the unlimited you know, like tournament packs and stuff so i don't have a raging battle yet so this one is getting set aside for the opening we're going to open the other, other 29 packs in here. So here we go. That 10K is going to be awesome. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're watching and you're not subscribed and you would like to watch an epic opening. We're opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's going to be insane. I've actually got a lot of the packs. I'm going to pop it up on the screen how many more I need. And it's getting close. And I still need, there are some that are kind of small that I still need too. Like I think I need like Flames of Destruction stuff, like stuff from like last year and stuff like that. So here we go. We're starting with a tore apart and oh i think this is the good one nope. uh, i forgot to mention another great thing about raging battle special editions they have thorn of i think it's thorn of malice or something like that i think it's this one no nope. common that's six dollars and then there's a rare ojama country is ten dollars so it's absolutely insane so that's a good pull we're gonna set that aside hedge guard and mind trust the centering on these is not so good and that's also first edition so that's super good all right here we go 
next pack raging battle first edition obviously pulling the ghost rare would be legendary and if we did it it'd be awesome to do it in first edition so here we go not a test print unfortunately if you haven't seen my test print video where i pulled the test print card out of the legend of blue eyes make sure you guys check that out it was out of the Jinzo tin it was pretty awesome so here we go spine gilman morphtronic bind mirror of oaths proof of powerlessness spell of pain rare get a level returner Wonder Clover, e no Evil Thorn. That's the good one. Yeah, Evil Thorn is the is the good one. And Crimson. Yeah, they both had Thorn in the name. It was not Thorn of Malice. It's Evil Thorn that is worth six plus dollars. So obviously we're gonna set those aside. Commons worth that much. So next we're gonna go on to another pack and let's see if we can find something pretty cool. Let's try and get these piles in the right spot. You guys don't understand the struggle of piles, like trying to avoid the mic and trying to get in the right spot in the camera so you guys can see me. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. All right, here we go. First promo. Let's try and get a lure. There we go. And a lure of darkness. I think this is like a $6 super. So obviously we want to get as many of those as possible. So there we go. Nice lure of darkness. Let's see if these are first edition. Oh, more first editions. Okay, here we go. Can we pull a first edition hollow, ultimate rare, ghost rare, secret rare, you know, something crazy. We get a tuner capture, miracle locust, junk box. Ooh, ultra rare, earthbound, immortal, Kapakapoo. Kapakapoo. Man, it is so hard to say some of these earthbound, immortal names, but there we go. Ultra rare, first edition from Raging Battle. That is a nice pull. Oh yeah, let's put our promo over there. We've got a calming magic, master gig, natural tune, Quacky Mirror Doom and Attack of the Cornered Rat. So obviously we want to pull some Ojama Countries and the Evil Thorn. That would be incredible and that would really help pay for this box, which is awesome when that happens. When you can pull back what you paid. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it is absolutely awesome. And speaking of that, make sure you guys use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links. That supports me and helps me get more of this stuff. Obviously, I've been buying a lot of this stuff, which is not cheap, but it's it's fun. So if, when you guys support, it really helps out. Wonder Clover, we've got a Berserk King, Double Tool CND, Trap Stun, Lava Dragon, and Reckoned Power. All right, last, here we go. Last first edition pack for this special edition. We've pulled one Ultra Rare so far. Can we get our special edition luck? We've been pretty good recently. Overdo <laughs> Over Doom Line, Phoenixian Seed, Gadget Arms, Rose Tentacles, Tree Otter, Rare, Doom Tool C and D, Morphtronic Bind, Trap Stun, Iron Core, Immediate Disposal. Alright. Next special edition. Can we pull a Vice Dragon? Which would be insane. Or an Allure of Darkness. So here we go. Dark Creator, not the one we want. But that's okay. Dark Creator. Alright, these packs are first edition. I think I put all the first editions at the front. Which is kind of anticlimactic, but at the same time, there were like I think six out of ten had first editions, which is pretty nice. So hopefully that's true. We got a GB Hunter, Blackwing Shura of the Blue Flame, Junk Box, Rose Tentacles, Against the Wind Rare, Proof of Powerlessness, Morphtronic Repair Union, Natural Tune, and Double Tool C and D. That Ultra Rare is actually my first ever Raging Battle Hollow. I've opened like a bunch of packs, and I've so I've only pulled one so far. Um, I just I don't have very good luck for this set, but here is they put these in so you can't like steal them from stores. So yeah, that's what those are. Junk box, rose tentacles, fake feather, Quacky Mirror War Arms. We got a super rare, pretty cool, way off centered. We've got a tore apart rare, alien dog, psychic path, proof of powerlessness, and morphtronic repair unit. Oh, I need to put my rares in a different spot. Oh well. I've kind of like mixed them in with the pulls, but that's okay. First edition Raging Battle. Let's pull a Ghost Rare. Man, they put them in all of these. Even though they're in special editions. Interesting. Alright, Crimson Fire. Hedge Guard. We need another Evil Thorn. Mind Trust. Tuner Capture. Tore Apart for the third time. That'd be nice if that was Ojama Country, Natural Tune, and Minoan Centaur. Alright, we are three special editions in. We haven't pulled anything crazy yet. Let's see if we can pull another Allure. Yep, there we go. Allure of Darkness. Super rare. That is awesome. Super rare Allure of Darkness. Let's see about these packs. These are unlimited. So are these are first unlimited packs? I think they are. Let's see if we can pull something good out of here. Wrecking Power. Iron Core Immediate Disposal. Trap Stun. 
Orphtronic Bind. Deep Sea D. Oh, isn't that a good card? Deep Sea Diva. I think that's probably worth something. I haven't checked the price on it, but I know it's... I know it's expensive and super rare from the uh, Astral Pack, so it's probably pretty pricey out of there. All right, here we go. Natural Tune, Minoan Centaur, Spined Gilman, Morphtronic Bind, Brain Golem, Thorn of Malice, Crimson Fire, Hedge Guard, and Tuner Capture. Okay, where are expensive, expensive commons? We need those. Or Ojama Country, we need that too. All right, here we go. Bone Temple Block, Master Gig, Attack of the Cornered Rat, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Quacky Mirror Ice, Wonder Clover, Evil Thorn, there we go, there's a common, Crimson Fire and Blackwing, Shura, the Blue Flame, so Evil Thorn, we'll take those, this is it, here we go, let's pull something big, Lure, Dark Creator, so if we split 5 and 5, that would be okay, it would be better to get like 6 um, Allures that we could, but probably won't happen. Here we go, three more unlimited raging battle. See, that's the cool thing about this. It's not a it's not a mystery box. It's a special edition, but it feels like a mystery box. He's like, is it first edition? Can we pull a vice dragon? Can we pull a pricey promo allure? Like it, it's just a lot of fun to open these up. Urgent synthesis, Vanguard of the Dragon, Emperor Sim, Mind Trust, Morphtronic Videon, Wicked Rebirth, and Quakimiro Guardian. All right. This is going to be a little bit longer of a video because we are opening 30 packs and I had to go through all that packaging and stuff. I wanted to keep the packaging on screen just in case we do pull a Vice Dragon so it doesn't look like I'm, you know, faking it or anything. Oh, Jamal Blue, that's actually not terrible, I don't think. Crimson Fire, Phoenixian Seed, Gadget Arms, and Morphtronic Scoping. All right. We've only pulled a couple of hollows out of here, so we aren't doing so great on the hollows. Here's a Master Gig, Natural Tune, Quacky Mirror Doom. Attack of the Cornered Rat, Spell of Pain, Rare, Little Returner, Phoenix and Seed, and Miracle Locust. We're actually doing pretty badly when it comes to foils. We are used to doing amazing on special editions, but here we go. Let's pull a nice Allure. Oh, Dark Creator. Okay, so we've got four Dark Creators. That's not good. Not so good there, because those are not worth too much. And here we have more First Edition. Okay, let's pull something good. Let's pull an Ulti, a Ghost, a Secret, something like that. That would be pretty awesome. Here we go. Gigastone Omega, Reckoned Power, Iron Core Immediate Disposal, Trap Stun, Moha, Blackwing, Crimson Fire, Phoenix In Seed, and Gadget Arms. All right, all right. So we are really struggling with the foils right now. But the good thing is we've gotten some decent value back from those couple commons and the allures. So we're not doing that that bad. Quacky Mirror Guardian. Iron Core of Quacky Miro, Lava Dragon, Urgent Synthesis, Vanguard of the Dragon, and Psychic Path. Okay, we're back with the face cam. The face cam cut out for a second, but here we go. We are back. Let's do this. Keep opening. Raging Battle. Let's pull something epic of a first edition pack. Level Returner. Emissary of from Pandemonium. Phoenixian Seed. Miracle Locust. Deep Sea Diva. That's pretty decent. Gigstone Omega. Mirror of Oaths. Electronic Bind. Okay. We're really struggling on the foils. This is what we've gotten so far. So, so far, these are our only two foils that we've pulled. So we are struggling a little bit, other than, of course, our guaranteed foils, like Allure. And then we have a couple cool commons. Here we go. Let's try and get an Allure to bounce back and get us on the hot streak. There we go. Okay, good start. It's our third Allure of the Special Edition box. Nice value there. Now let's pull some epic commons and foils. So here we go. More first edition. Let's try and pull something good like anything here we go miracle locust wonder clover evil thorn first edition there we go and a level warrior there's a level warrior super ojama red that used to be worth something i don't think it is as much anymore but that's still pretty nice and ojama red rare proof of powerlessness lava dragon urgent synthesis and vanguard of the dragon okay so that was a pretty good pack we got a foil, we got a nice common, a decent rare. So pretty loaded, pretty loaded value. Let's see if we can keep it up. Level Returner, Wonder Clover, Tuner Capture, Miracle Locust, Moha, Natural Tune, Minoan Centaur, Spined Gilman, Morphtronic Bind. Okay, final pack of this special edition. Let's go, let's pull an ultimate rare, a secret rare, something like that. Here we go, let's get that out of here. We got Rose Tentacles, Fake Feather, Electronic Vidion, Thorn of Malice, and Berserk King, Urgent Synthesis, Quacky Mirror Doom, Alien Dog, and Attack of the Corner of Rat. So, 
Okay, so we're not doing great. We have three foils through, let's see, we didn't open one, seven, we opened 20 packs, three foils, that is not very good. Here we go, let's get this promo. Oh, Dark Creator, okay, so this isn't looking so hot. Dark Creator Super Rare. And we got more first edition, okay. More first edition packs, let's see if we can pull something good. If we don't pull something good and there's a good one in the one I left out, then that wouldn't be too bad because it would be a big 10K opening. First edition power tool, ultimate rare. That's a good box. First edition pack two. And a backwards card. What is this? Wait a second. Ojama Country. Check out that pack. Ojama Country Rare, $10 Rare, Ultimate Rare, Power Tool Dragon. This box just went from 0 to 100. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. I was not expecting to pull that. That is amazing. This is the second um, cover card I've pulled from 5Ds in Ultimate Rare. I've pulled the uh, red... Majestic Red Dragon. I'm, I'm going to screw myself now, but here we go. Ultimate Rare Power Tool. Not only Ultimate Rare, but the first edition. That is what I was saying about Raging Battle. They're awesome because you can pull first edition packs and you can pull something like that. Oh, now that's a pull. And an Ojama Country. That is the best pack, obviously, so far. So let's keep going. Wow, and a backwards Ojama Country. So that was awesome. This pack feels extremely thick, but I'm, I'm guessing it's because of that, but it still feels a little thick. So here we go. No Incentaur, Gigastone, Omega, Beast Striker, Super Rare. Are we making the comeback? Super Rare. All right, the value is, is coming back. Here we go. Let's do this. Level Returner, Wonder Clover. All right, last pack of this special edition. That was a good one. Power Tool Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition. Oh, my God. Oh, we got another backwards card. Maybe we'll have another Ultimate Rare in here. This one has uh, some printing problems. Miracle Locust, Wonder Clover, and here we go, Ojama Country, Ojama Blue, okay. So there's something going on with the backwards rares, that's kind of interesting. Ojama Blue, that's pretty cool. Power, <laughs> proof of Powerlessness, and Wrecking Power, okay, so that one saved our box. We were having, I mean, it was honestly going really badly. Let's hope we can pull at least, I mean, can we even it up with the lures? No, <laughs> Dark Creator, of course. So we got six Dark Creators and only three Allures. That's a real bummer. We'll probably have seven, to be honest. And then we have some Unlimited. Okay, let's try Unlimited Raging Battle. And let's pull something. Maybe we'll pull the Ghost Unlimited, too. <laughs> That'd be insane. Supremacy Berry, Alien Dog, Psychic Path, Proof of Powerlessness, Spell of Pain, Hedge Guard, Mind Trust, Tuner Capture, and Junk Box. So we have five total packs left. We pulled the big boy, the cover card, Ultimate Rare. That's awesome. Let's see if we can pull anything else from these unlimited packs. Trap Stun, Tree Otter. Oh, whoops. Can we pull another uh, Evil Thorn? That would be nice. Nice value. Here we go. Last pack of this special edition. Attack of the Cornered Rat, Natural Tune, Minoan Centaur, Spined Gilman, that's a, why is that card so weird looking? Iron Core of the Kwaki Miru, Gadget Arms, Scopin, Rebirth, and Vidion. All right, so there we go. Check that bad boy out. That is awesome. We've got three packs left. One more chance at Allure. Come on. <laughs> of course, seven Dark Creators, but that's okay. We did get a few Allures, but oh, it's a bummer. Final packs will be first edition, so that's awesome. We've got three more first edition Raging Battle. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe for future openings. We have insane openings coming up, so this is gonna be pretty awesome. Wonder Clover, Magic Planter, super rare. First edition, there we go. Starting to get some foils. We got a Moha, Tag of the Cornered Rat, Gigastone Omega, Mirror of Oaths, and Double Tool. Two more packs, let's pull something epic. Maybe a secret rare. I mean, we're probably not getting a ghost, but it would be nice. We do only have one Ultra, so that could be nice too. Attack of the Cornered Rat, Blackwing Blizzard, the Far North. Okay, more Blackwings. And the final pack, we opened 29 of the packs. We left one for the 10K opening. Make sure you guys subscribe for that. Let's try and finish this off on a strong note. It went pretty well. I spent, I think, 150 on this box. 
So totally worth it since we pulled that uh, that power tool. So here we go. Bone Temple Block, Master Gig, Attack of the Cornered Rat, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Morphtronic Remoten, Gadget Arms, Rose Tentacles, Fake Feather, and Mind Trust. So let's go through what we got. Uh, it kind of has some very unorganized stacks here, but here we go. Super Rare, Magic Planter, we got Dark Creators, for days. Beast Striker, Ojama Country, Rare, that's nice. Another Dark Creator, Ojama Red, that's a Rare. Level Warrior, we got one of our Evil Thorns. A Lore of Darkness, that was nice. Our one Ultra Rare Pull, not bad. Our Super Rare, Kawaki Miru. A Lore of Darkness, we got more Dark Creators. A Lore of Darkness, and more Dark Creators. So that was unlucky on that end. But we did, of course, pull... The Power Tool Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, focus in there. Come on, what's going on here? Phone's going crazy. Okay, so totally worth the opening. Hope you guys did enjoy it. That was fun. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh!